What is up ladies and gents? This is TechWave and we're back with another video. And this is a follow-up from the unboxing of the Samsung Space Monitor. So I used it for a couple days and this is my review on the Samsung Space Monitor. I hooked it up to my Asus FX05. The review for this will be out soon so stay tuned for that. But yeah, let's get right into it. So first off, I'm going to st start off by saying that the monitor is like huge 32 inches it's huge and the way that i kept it it's not really meant to kept be kept that way it's more so meant to stay on someone's wall over here so it like has a clean finish not something like it's meant it's not really meant for something like this so anyways let's get into the menu so you have this analog stick at the back that you can control the menu with if i press it i see all those options i get that i get source power off and I get menu so let's click into it you get brightness Samsung uh, you get picture settings we can tap into it. we can do standard cinema dynamic contrast whatever you name it you have all these settings 16 a black level upscale game mode we have PIP PIP mode on-screen display system and information so right now we're running 3840 by 2160 so that's 4k at 60 hertz this monitor does not go above 60 hertz so it's not meant for gaming trust me i don't even want to show the gameplay i've tried to use it for gaming let me just turn this off just go backwards and you can't you really can't use this for gaming it's more so made for productivity and it's really good at color accuracy samsung themselves say that it's rated for about what they say it has more than a billion colors and with some testing, the it's SRG it got a rating of 140.8 in sRGB, so it's pretty color accurate. So if you have any color accurate work, you can definitely count on this monitor to do so. This monitor is I feel like it's made for the person who has a minim minimalistic setup. You don't really need any of like extra flashy things. They're very minimalistic. You have this stand over here that you can also bring the monitor in. So like if I just pull it in. Put it in like this. I can bring the monitor closer. To, I can literally bring the monitor closer to me. I can, like some Microsoft Surface Studio guys. I don't know if you guys have seen that, but yeah. Look at that. I can literally bring it all the way and just make it rest on my desk. So the monitor is huge. It's not meant for everybody. They do sell a 27 inch version of this with a lower resolution, but. Oh, wow, it's kind of hard but it has a 144 hertz refresh rate so that's something to notice about so yeah let's go on youtube and let me i wish i could show you guys the difference between this monitor and another monitor because the colors on this are really interesting so let's go and search up any 4k footage 4k video i don't know if the camera will do justice but hopefully hold in 4k let's try this Auto, let's go all the bump it all the 4K. You guys, I don't know if you guys can see those colors, but those colors are amazing. I've the exact same video I've seen on my other monitors, and there's a huge difference. This one by far just kicks everything else out, and I guess that's kind of expected because Samsung is the uh, one of the biggest leaders uh, manufacturers of TVs so they have the experience with type of technology with OLED panels 4k HDR etc so you kind of expect them to make a great monitor as well so yeah there's not much to say about this monitor it's pretty minimalistic although the ports on this are kind of limited you only get an HDMI port a display port and that's about it I wish they had at least two of either HDMI or display the included wire that they give you is an HDMI port is an HDMI cable uh, and pretty thin bezels too makes it look really like it really immerses you inside and I don't really have anything else to say about this monitor it's just a good monitor overall and I guess in the United States it costs around 499 for it. it's over here it's a little bit more expensive I think along with taxes I paid around 600 something dollars with it so yeah the box that it comes in is huge though so guys the box that I came with was literally went like I don't know it was like a good six foot close to six foot long box 
but yeah this is my review of the samsung space monitor 32 inch 4k 60 hertz version i also forgot to mention it has a four milliseconds response time so yeah again not for gaming just for productivity and uh, color accurate work if you if you are into photography or videography or something and you want to be as accurate as possible this is one of the, the best monitors you can get out there but yeah hope you guys like this video comment down your thoughts below on what you what do you guys think of this monitor did samsung get it right or not this is also my first review of a 4k monitor but there's going to be more to come so stay tuned for that oh wow look at look at those colors they look so vibrant and so much more realistic than what you actually see there well yeah like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys later peace